Spectrum, Spectrum of Thought. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 13 of Spectrum of Thought, except this time it's Spectrum of Spice. EJ, why don't you go ahead and explain what's going to happen today? So basically, um, we chose four local restaurants here in Santa Fe, and they're all Spanish restaurants. Um, we wanted to promote them because of everything that's going on now, so we're trying to get them business. Um, basically, we got salsa and chips from four different restaurants. The ch two restaurants I chose was El Parasol, and I got red and green salsa because they had two different ones. Got chips there. And then the other one I chose was Cafe Castro's. Chips and salsa there as well. What about you, Daniel? Uh, the two restaurants that I chose were Maria R. Maria's. Maria's of Santa Fe off of Cordova and uh, Tomasita's, which came in this nifty little box here. Um, they're already two of my favorite restaurants because of the, as we all know, like I, I drink a little bit. But uh, anyway, back to the chips and salsa. They are probably one of my favorites in Santa Fe for sure. So I have those two to battle against yours. Great. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to rate them by the, the basically the spiciness um the maybe the color uh the taste definitely and we're gonna see which one overall that we like the best salsa wise and also chips so we're gonna see who has the better chip of all of them um this should be fun and as a bonus round we're gonna try these ridiculously hot chips here these are haunted ghost pepper chips they are very very hot so we're gonna try this maybe with the hottest salsa after we break it down and then also as another bonus round <laughs> we have a variety of diablo um something peppers i can't remember but it's it has diablo in it so these are all kinds of different peppers we're gonna taste them if we want to if we're brave enough yeah we'll see how we feel by the time we get through the uh ghost pepper chips but uh, we'll see i have a question for that actually are we gonna take a huge bite out of it are we just gonna bite the whole thing or are we gonna take a nibble we will take a bite, at least take a bite of whichever one. We could we could try two if you want. I don't know if we want to try all of them. Um, it's up to you, but um, I think a bite might be okay, unless you want to knock it out. <laughs> hey, we'll see how we feel. Maybe some of these salsas are going to be strong, but we'll see. Maybe we'll build our I mean, stamina. You know what? Maybe we could just dip it in salsa and eat it. Why not? <laughs> it's going to get put crazy it anyway. The, put it on top of the harbor. The uh, ghost chili chip. Be there good. you go. Why not? Why not just triple stack it? Triple stack that shit. <laughs> and then dip it in the hottest hot exactly. sauce. Exactly. That's the only way to do it. Anyways, I got my glasses ready, so I'm ready to read whichever one. Do you want to start this off? Uh, uh, why don't we go? I, I kind of want to have like, well, actually, if we do it alphabetically, you're going to be first on both of yours. So let's not do that. Let's do, uh, I'm curious on... El Parasol, so I've never had it. So uh, if you want to do that one, if you're good with that, let's go ahead and, and do El Parasol. Yeah, let's do it. So do you want me to start or you start? Go ahead. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got two different ones. One's red and green. You can't see the colors. Um, I'm going to open the red one first. Woo. Okay, so as you can see, the red one to me looks super, I've had this before. It's pretty spicy. Um, the texture is more like, uh, it's more blended, I would say. Um, and let's try their chips also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a chip, check out the chip. It's kind of thin. I don't know. I think they're homemade. I'm not exactly sure if they're homemade, but let's, uh, I know how this tastes. I love their salsa. Has heat on it. Has flavor. The chips have some salt. They're thin, but they're not too thin where they fall apart. Um, I like it. Do you want me to try the green next? Yeah, do the green right away. Okay, so the next one is green. Has the same puree look. It looks like it's blended. Um, I know I've tried these before, but... You know the green is actually pretty good too. A little more mild in heat, um, has flavor. Chips are pretty good. Your turn. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a uh, a chip from Empanasol. You see their logo right there. But um, 
I'm so sorry. Real quick, I got I ate the chips from what brown bag is that that you have? The other one, the big one. Maria's. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. I'm gonna. I think, I think we need a redo real quick. Just have one of them. Okay. Wow, these are a little more thick. These Zed Pile Soul ones. They seem to have a little bit of seasoning on them. Actually, pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. My okay. bad, man. There's so much chips and salsa yeah, here. Yeah, we have way too much stuff on our, our tables here. We have way too much stuff on our plates. Um, all right, so I got a, bat, a chip from El Parasol, and I'm going to try red first. And I've never had this, actually, so let's see how this is. Hmm. Hmm. It's definitely spicy for sure. And it's it's definitely, it's like a puree. I've never had a salsa that was like a sauce. It's almost a sauce. Yeah, like, it's not chunky, right? Yeah, um, but it's taste, it tastes delicious. And I'm not a fan of double dipping. I, I'm gonna have to get another chip for this other, uh, this green stuff. Um, so this green chili, let's try this. And I'm, I'm pretty picky with my green chili. I don't like it, like it on certain things. I don't like it on in, in enchiladas but I love it on burgers or other things, but let's try it with salsa. I can absolutely agree with you. It's more flavor than heat on the green. There's spice here, which I like, but I think this is a great combination of like Christmas for sure, um, which is for tourists because us locals don't do Christmas. But I, will, I do want to say before we continue is um, if there are any ASMR fans out there that listen to chewing and stuff, listen up because we're going to be chewing for the next hour. I'm not a fan, so I'm probably not going to watch this episode. But let's do the next one. Go ahead. So what did you think of the chip? You didn't describe the chip. The chip's good. It's thick. It has a good crunch. I like flavor? it. What about the flavor? Of the chip, yeah. Um, flavor seems pretty pretty plain. I don't have too much spice on or flavor. Um, yeah, I guess spices on it, salt and pepper. It's pretty plain, but no hate there. I like it. Okay. And I think we're gonna have a scale rating this. All right. So we don't have let's... to rate it right now, right? Uh, you know what? Rate it. What yeah, you... let's rate it. Okay, you so. First. Um, the red, uh, has some heat, buddy. Like if people love hot salsa, like the red is where it's at. Um, it does have a lot of spice. Um, it has flavor, but it is hot for those who like the more mild one. The green is probably a better idea and it still has a lot of flavor. Um, if I had to rate this on a one through 10 scale, I think the red salsa would probably in my book, it'd probably be an, a nine. Wow. Because it's just taste, it tastes really, it has good flavor. Like, especially if you put it on tacos or something. It's hard to eat like this because it's hot. And then the green, I would say the green's probably about a, I'd say the green's about a seven. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard because they're kind of in two different categories, but I would say the red is probably, I do prefer a hotter salsa. So, the red, I would say, is probably a seven or an eight, and the green has flavor, so it's hard. But I would say it's it's a lower uh, it's a lower um, number for me. It's probably like a, a six, but it okay. do, it does have flavor. But I eat salsa for the heat, so that's why I got I gave the scores I gave. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Um, and the chip, I would give it. I would give the chip about a seven. Okay. What about you? The chip. Yeah, I think I would agree with you with the seven. Okay. All right. Uh, you're next. All right. Uh, let's do Maria's, the chip that you already ate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Maria's salsa came in these little two little containers, which uh, were not properly sealed so it leaked all over the place we just found that out but here's their chip one thing i like about maria's chips is that they're super thin and they just like 
fall apart when you take a bite and they dissolve immediately. So when you get some salsa, some of their salsa, which is also really good. Um, let me see actually. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I had the spicier salsa before, but this one doesn't have any spice. I'm gonna take another bite if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. I, I love hearing you chew. <laughs> I'm gonna, do you want me to get closer to the mic? No, no, I'm gonna get closer to the mic, to the speaker. Hmm. Yeah, I love the chip. The salsa tastes good, but there's not really that much heat. Okay. Do you, you want to rate it right away? Uh, sure. The chip itself, I would give an eight. I love the the way it falls apart, but it still like can hold the salsa. The salsa itself, uh, maybe a, a six because I don't taste the spice, but yeah, I guess just right now. But I have been there where it's really hot, so maybe this is just today's batch is not as hot. Okay, cool. Well, I will grab a chip. I'm ready to go. Uh, the chips are a little uh, thinner than the uh, chip of parasol. It's like a different looking chip too, actually. This one looks a little more translucent, which is the Maria's one. Um, let's see how this salsa is. I can see cilantro in there. Um, it's kind of a puree also, but you could kind of see some stuff in there, but it's kind of a puree. I would say that's pretty tasty. Doesn't have much heat. It's like after you go from the pot of soil red, which is pretty damn hot, and you go to this, it's, everything's gonna be mellow. It seems to have some flavor though. Um, I think I'd give it a seven. And the chip also. Maybe the chip gets an eight, honestly. The, yeah, the chip chip's pretty good. Chip, it had like a, like a, a right amount of salt on it too, so I thought that was good. Yeah. So, uh, next one, do you, you could start it off. Um, uh, let's do Cafe Castro's. Cafe Castro, that's the white bag, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, there it is. All right, here's the, the salsa. And describe how, well, yeah. It looks very similar to the uh, Maria's salsa. Like, it smells very, it smells like tomato sauce. Hmm. Huh. Open yours and smell it. That's pretty interesting, actually, man. I didn't think of smelling the other ones. <laughs> yeah. This tomatoes are pretty fragrant. Yeah. And that definitely smells like tomato sauce. Uh, the chip looks just as thin as the um, Maria's chip, but it looks white, it looks whiter, like white. Uh, so let me try this. I'm gonna try a chip by itself. Do it. Okay, so uh, just like the smell, I think it tastes just like tomato sauce. Okay. Uh, which I love, but but as a salsa, okay. I would say I don't like it very much. The chips, kind of like in the middle, I guess. I like that they're they're crunchy, they're thin, but there's just something missing with the chip also. It kind of just... It almost dissolves before I can finish enjoying the crunch. So, um, do you want to rate this one right away? Yeah, go for it. Rate that bad boy. Okay, so the, the salsa, I apologize, Castro's. I'm going to give you kind of a low score of a four because it was almost a soup. It almost tasted like tomato soup. Not going to lie, there was no spice. Tastes great because it tastes like tomato soup. Uh, the chips themselves also, I'm gonna grade you kind of low with the five because they 
they had that crunch, but they fall apart really quickly. Uh, so there we go. I'm not like a food expert, but these are my preferences. No, so. dude. Yeah, these are just our opinions. That's all. Um, and we both like heat, obviously. So that's. I'm surprised you rated uh, Parasol lower. That low. Do you like chunky stuff? Is that what it is? Like how low did I? How low did I rate Parasol? I think you might give it a seven. I thought that was a decent score. <laughs> All right, never mind. All right, so I'm gonna try Cafe Castro's um, chips. It does look like a white corn chip. You are right. Um, I don't know if this one looks. I think the Maria's one looks a little more homemade, and the Parasol one probably. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree completely. Let me taste this. It does look like there's cilantro in there. You can see like the little chili seeds. A little more of a puree. This one is a little more tomato uh, dominant, I would say. Um, it um, it is like a puree, also. Um, I would have to say a five, five for the salsa. If you don't like heat or anything, you just want like something simple. Um, this is probably good for you. Uh, the chip probably like a four. It's a boring chip to me. It's just compared to like the other chips. Yeah. But yeah, I think it, the chip needs more flavor. That's what it needs. And more crunch. Like, I, like, do you agree with me where it, like you take a bite and it almost like dissolves immediately? In your yeah. Mouth? And you want something that actually holds up the salsa, but you don't want it too thick where you just have to like bite through like a five inch chip and you just like break your jaw. You, and you don't want it too thin where you pick up the salsa and half of it falls off. <laughs> <laughs> so you want like that in between eh? it's kind of a little tricky to get but yeah that's where I'm at with this one I feel like I get really high scores at the beginning um, for the other ones you want to adjust um, I think for Maria's the salsa would do a 6 but their chip was a far superior chip um, yeah their chip was what I said for the chip an 8 or something So the chip was very similar to this one but it maintained the crunchiness throughout and it had flavor in my opinion it had that, even, even that little bit of salt adds a lot in yeah. my opinion so yeah uh, go ahead alright the next one we're gonna do is Tomasitas one of my favorite restaurants actually when I bought these I bought a uh, Grand, a burrito grande and I had red chili and a sopapilla ha ah, I miss it I miss it so much the only thing I missed more was the swirl or the frog um, but the sopapillas the sopapilla that was Italian I don't know right. I guess so <laughs> okay here's here's their salsa Let's see here See, this one is kind of more like what I'm used to. It's very, it's kind of watery looking, but chunkier. And I think I do like that chunkiness of, of salsa because it adds more crunch really. So like the little pieces of onion and um, I guess chili and whatever else might be crunchy in that, in that mix. But I think I, I do prefer this type of salsa. The chip themselves are also pretty thick too. Um, but We'll see. Let me, let, me, let me try this out. Just they want so a little guys, chunk for your funk. Just so you guys can take a look at the, the thickness of that. You can actually see it sitting on the chip. There we go. Very loud, too. The chip was amazing. The salsa tastes good, but it's not spicy. Um, so, uh, on a rating, I guess I'd give the chip probably an eight, and the salsa itself maybe a seven also. Wow, okay. That's pretty good, man. Well, let's check it out. Let's check out this chunky mofo, since you said it's chunky. Um, it's definitely is a pretty thick chip. I have to agree. You could just tell by looking at it. Um, I do like chunkier salsas. I think they, I love like being able to see the onions and tomatoes and stuff. The textures are cool. Um, this is the first one I, 
out of all four of ours that is like this. Um, let's check it out. I like how you can taste the onions and tomatoes. Um, it doesn't taste too tomatoey to me. I think if you're not into spice, this is probably the salsa to get, in my opinion, because it has a. To me, it has flavor and uh, texture. Um, and the chip, the chip is actually pretty good for being thick. It yeah. Is a thick, but uh, I would say the chip's probably yeah. a the salsa's probably. I would. I like heat too, but I would have to say it's an eight. The salsa. Wow. So I think it's pretty good, man. It just needs a little heat. Like if we could throw, if we use like a ghost pepper chip. <laughs> You're gonna pull then, up the ghost pepper chip already? Then that's something different, but uh, yeah. So that's what I would say for these. Um, so basically, what is your favorite chip out of all these? And from where is it? And why? I think, I think Maria's is gonna be my favorite chip. What about you? Um. I would have to say Maria's also. Damn. That's a consensus right there, man. Um, so Maria's is the chip to taste with. I have a salsa, a favorite salsa already too. Oh, really? Okay. So what would you eat that with? What would, which, would you pair it with the restaurant that you got the salsa from? No. Or which restaurant? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pair it with El Parasol, red chili, or red salsa. Wow. Okay. Damn, dude. I, I think that's actually pretty good. I, it looks like you, that's a massive, what, what is in that bag? It's, it's a lot of chips, dude. This is a $5 bag of chips. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Wow, so that's what you would pair it with, okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I thought we were gonna do it. Are we go, gonna try go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you gotta put it back on your screen because it's popped on me now, so. Okay, so I'm gonna try my favorite chip with my favorite salsa, which is the Maria's chip with El Parasol's salsa. How different is it? Does it, is it like a good combo? Oh yeah, it's good. Kind of, it tastes a little bit salty for some reason. Really? Like saltier than the first bite. Give it a shot. But I think it's because the Maria's has salted chips, maybe. I noticed maybe. that. Or what are your choices before you try this one? Um, the chip. Did I choose a chip? I think we both chose the same chip. Maria's chip. Okay. I think. Let me look at it real quick. <laughs> Give me one second. Let me see. You're going to just hear me chewing. Maria's chip, for sure. Um... I think salsa, it has to be the red parasol also, which is really weird because we didn't plan any of this. Um, <laughs> Daniel, I never tried it, but I just think the salsa is, if you like spice, this is a salsa for you. It is, it is hot though. That's a good combo. <clears throat> I can taste the salt in this though. Didn't it get like saltier? Yeah, but it's good. It is tasty with this chip. Yeah. Mm. So, so winners are Chips, Maria, ding, 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 Salsa. Or salsa. Sorry, go ahead. Go El ahead. Parasol Red. <laughs> um, or, or is it <clears throat> the Ghost Chili? Okay, we can, we can move on to the Ghost Chili. Let's do it. Wait. Okay, so we're going to so, do... Are you do you want to try the mildest chili with one of these, or do you want to try the red El Parasol hot chili with one of these? You tell me. I, I just want to try it by itself, to be honest. <clears throat> okay, okay. <laughs> so, the, these chips are haunted ghost pepper chips. I love heat, so does Daniel. I think they're ridiculously hot. Um, go ahead and try one, Daniel. Let us know what you think. Okay, I'm getting the biggest chip I can find in here. <laughs> right, Grab that bad boy. Oh, that looks tiny. <laughs> it's huge, dude. It's huge. It's the oh, camera. Oh. 
the camera's way too far. You just can't, you can't tell. Oh, it looks bigger in person. Yeah, for sure. Especially when you hold it up to your eye like this. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know why I'm so scared. I think you hyped it up too much. Here we go. You need to give it a second too. Let that shit absorb. Describe it, everything. Flavor, taste, whatever, crunchiness. Crunch is commercialized, it's perfect. Obviously, they, they know what they're doing. Uh, I didn't actually taste the spice yet. No spice yet? No. I think you need another one. Okay, I'm gonna get another one. I kind of feel like it can you get find it. a smaller one, like a crumb or something? <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to get this one. It's about the same size. I can okay. feel it again now, actually. So, Can you feel it? The heat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to have to do two. <laughs> you got another one. It's not as bad as I had thought they were going to be, but there's definitely some heat for sure. Damn, pretty good, man. I yeah, like you it. You give it a shot now. Okay. Um, I guess I have to choose the tiniest chips. <laughs> the biggest one. I mean, I thought they were pretty. I thought they were pretty hot when I tried them before. <clears throat> I haven't even tried them. All. <clears throat> um, crunchiness is good. Flavor is good. I think it does have some heat. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's like a little stuffy in here. I have to eat another one because you told me to. So I gotta let that like heat sink in. What do you think overall this chip? Um, I think it's definitely a time delay. A delay where I, my I'm burning up right now, dude. Holy are, crap! Are you starting to feel it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Okay, because I could feel uh, my face is getting a little hot right now. I'm feeling like a little sweaty. Um, I'm sweating. But I think it's just like, I think it's just all the chips around me, all the heat from the chips. Uh, salsa around us is making this heat just like make it hot in here. That's all. So how about you get one of those chips and try it with an end pot. Oh, God damn. I can start feeling the heat right now, too, buddy. I fucking told you these are hot. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while these to kick in. These creep up on you, man. And it's not, like, ridiculously hot where we can't breathe. But the longer I talk, the hotter it gets, Daniel. Dude, I'm... Yeah. I'm... You better just dip it right away, man. You better go for it right You Just dunk it, dude. Hey, just dunk it like Shaq, dude. Bring that rim down. <laughs> I'm going to have to run and get some tissue to wipe my nose real quick. All right, here we go. Got some some uh, El Parasol Salsa on the ghost <laughs> chips. Holy budge. <laughs> oh, that looks hot, buddy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I should have had some tissue ready. Well, I could cut to me right now and I could try it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to get some tissue. So I'm going to open up my El Parasol Red. And I'm going to grab, just so you guys could see, one of these ghost pepper chips, which are kind of hot. And uh, I could already feel this coming on. I can feel my eyes sweating. Do your eyes sweat? Mine do. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. That's fantastic. Uh-huh. That's where it's at. So they should have the ghost pepper red. I thought you were about to turn I thought you were about to, turn, about to, to be uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm about to say. What were you going to say? You sounded like you are going to be uh, the, the anchor. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Cherry, Cherry Bomb? What's my name? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Daniel, I'm starting to sweat. I'm gonna grab one more of these just so you know. I'm gonna do another one. This this is just for me. 
I am regretting this. Look at that. You see the salsa on there? Mmm. Mmm. Um. Oh. I shouldn't have done that. So, uh, <laughs> would you recommend this at a restaurant for somebody to eat? <laughs> Maybe at like a. What would you call it? What would you call this combination? Like a fear factor? I don't know. <laughs> All you need is like a little moth on it crawling around, right? You just munch it out. Holy shit, dude. It's I'm pretty hot, up. right? I'm tearing up. I'm sweating. I'm starting to... I can feel the sweat coming down my hat, dude. Holy so, shit. maybe you want to try another chip. Oh, I can feel it in my throat right now. But get your favorite chip. <laughs> you need to try your favorite yeah. chip. <laughs> I don't know if the salt's going to help, but... Hey, maybe one of these... Uh, Milder sauces will help us out, or maybe it's gonna intensify the heat. Oh yeah, where's that tomato salsa? Uh, I think the tomato one was uh, Cafe the, Castro. Uh, Correct? No, it was yeah, it was Castro. Yeah, it's a black, it's a black container. <laughs> Daniel can't find it fast enough. <sighs> you know what? That's hitting real good right now, dude. Right now, it is hitting really good. Tell me. Tell me what you think. Oh, yeah. That's like a killer salsa <laughs> combination. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I thought I would be able to handle these ones. So, can I ask you a question? Who, yeah. Who tries to cool down the hotness of the salsa and the hot chip with another salsa? <laughs> You know what I think actually is uh I think that's one of the <laughs> I can breathe. One of the things that one of the things that's like uh makes you want salsa is like you take a bite and it's hot, but you think that taking another bite's gonna make it cooler because the salsa is usually kinda cold temperature wise and you take a bite because it's cold, but it just heats things up. So I'm starting to sweat, buddy. I'm starting to sweat. I don't know if you can see it, but woo, I can feel that heat, dude. I'm tearing oh. up, man. I'm just like tears. I I want. I don't even want to get it close because it's not a good look. But for so me, so word of advice for novice, amateur salsa eaters: <laughs> um, the more you eat it, the hotter it gets. It's always gonna be hot. <clears throat> But there's that addiction. It's like that rush, like that little adrenaline rush where it feels good, where you just keep eating because that intensity feels good. But you know what, dude? Can you see me sweating at all? I can't. God damn, I'm sweating right now, buddy. And it's not even hot in here. Oh, man. But Castro's is helping for sure. Yeah, you know what? Castro's is a good chaser salsa. If there was ever a thing, it's a good <laughs> chaser salsa. <laughs> Imagine Holy. that combo. They're like, all right, cool you off with another salsa. Boom. Thank you. you got it. We're good. Damn, dude. I can't do believe you like you hot salsa? Chip. But huh? do you like do you like hot salsa? But I love it. hot chili. <laughs> I love hot chilies, uh, salsas. I love spice. I love it. But it has to have flavor. Because if it, there's a point to where it's too hot, there's that point to no return. And then you're just fucked. It fucks up your stomach. You feel nauseous. You feel lightheaded. Um, yeah, but I love hot. What about you? Uh, yeah, hell yeah, I love I love hot salsa. But I was trying to make a fake infomercial, so that was a fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad, man. I just uh, all this heat. It's all this intensity, buddy. So will you eat another one? That's my question. Will you eat one more with the hotter? How about this? You don't have to eat it with the empanada soda salsa. A salsa of your choosing to mallow down that chip because that chip is, you're going to do it, aren't you? Of course I am. Okay, excuse me. You better get a bigger oh, chip. Of course buddy. I am, man. Hey, you better not get these quarter-sized chips. I don't even know what those are. Do you think it's, oh, look it's at you. <laughs> you're all, uh, this one's almost right. half, EJ. Oh, damn. Look at that. Smell it. It's also flipped. It's it's like there's a fold, so it's bigger than it looks. 
Damn, why don't you smell that? So wait, you're saying there's a fold? And so it's regular sized. <laughs> it's huge. It's, it's, no, that's regular size. It's oversized. Oh, whatever. I'm scared, man. Do it. You gotta do it right away. How much? We know you didn't measure. You didn't measure how much you got. Did you get that much? You get I got half. I got half. I dunked it. Oh, you dunked it. Yeah. So you didn't scoop it. You dunked it. Uh, you know what? Like an amateur. Oh, oh, amateur. Okay. <laughs> scoop that, man. Scoop That's it. what I've been doing. I've been scooping. Hey, scoop. There you go. There you go. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Show. Screen. Talk. What? Oh, yeah. okay. Here we go. Okay. okay. Screw it, dude. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Just do it. Don't don't talk. Here we go. Ooh, it looks hot. How is it? Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. You know what? That was a good game, dude. I like that. I'm glad you were. I'm glad you wanted to try that. You realize I'm getting out of doing this, right? <laughs> you didn't say anything. Look at you. You're all, yeah, we're good, man. We're, we're both cut off. I think we're even now. I think you took an extra bite already. You know what? I'm going to do another one. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go get some water while you do that. Yeah, I'm going to do one more. And I am honestly burning up right now. Um, Daniel left me. You could actually see the chili on this chip. The ghost pepper chili. Daniel said he so-called scooped it. I saw somewhat of a scoop. So, uh, <laughs> this is pretty scooped right here. <clears throat> Daniel is nowhere in sight <clears throat> to see this, which is kind of sad, but uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 man. Oh, that's a little hot. Okay. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm fantastic. You're handling you're handling it pretty well. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm still dying here though. So I don't know if you can see me sweating yet. You can't. My hair, dude, I'm hot right now. Oh, I can feel oh, it, God. God. You know what? That's pretty tasty, though. I won't lie to you. If this was served in a restaurant and it was called like the Diablo Death Salsa Chip Combo, I would eat it. I would try it, but I couldn't like eat all of it. I would do a couple and I would want other people to try them with me because that's the fun in it. Um, I don't know what you think. I think I lost you. <laughs> I think I lost Daniel for a second. No, He's... I'm still dying. I'm still dying here. <sighs> <sighs> I have tears coming down. I have, <laughs> snot. I have snot coming down. I'm sweating. <laughs> so what do you think of that chip, though? I, you told me it wasn't hot earlier. <laughs> It takes a while to kick in, dude. It takes a long while to kick in, but once it does, it kicks like your hey, ass. look at your watch, y'all. It takes it takes about it takes about uh, five minutes. And uh, if I wasn't on camera right now, I'd be curled up into a ball, having an anxiety attack. <laughs> I hope not. So imagine they have that one chip challenge. I'm not sure what kind of chili it is. It's supposedly way hotter than this. It's like for $50 for one chip. It's supposed to be crazy hot. <clears throat> Imagine how much hotter that is, dude. Would you, knowing that it's hotter, would you do it? What do I get out of it? <laughs> I, 
I don't know. Test or something? Or they're just like, can you handle this? Just can you handle it, I guess. I mean, would you be willing to do that? It's my question. Whew. Hotter than this? No. For no reason? If they were like, hey, we'll give you 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, I'll do it for 10 bucks. I have to agree with you. I wouldn't either. And I love chili, but this is like my max here. I've had a a bag of those chips and these one of these bags usually lasts me a couple months i'll eat like two or three chips with a sandwich and then i'll have my regular chips i i have to like keep them separate because it's hot <laughs> so i'll take a bite eat like four or five of the other chips eat my sandwich and i'll be like Whew, take another bite and then i'm like good yeah like two or three chips Whew, i'm good baby yeah for sure dude it's 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 uh it actually tastes really good but that heat just it takes away from like enjoying it, but that's part of it too, too is like that challenge of just here, let's buy some of these extra spicy chips and these really hot chips. So it's fun for sure. And I can see myself. So I, ha I have this bottle of chili and um, that I just eat throughout the day. It's super hot. It's, it's not as hot as these chips, but it's super hot. And uh, I, I'll just go up to that bottle. I'll take the chili out and I'll take a bite out of it. For no reason, I'm just like, I, I find comfort in it, maybe? I don't know. But to do this, to eat chips like this, I can see where you're saying, put it in a sandwich, it'll make the spice you need. But holy shit, dude, like t all these tears, I'm still crying right now. You can't see them, but I'm still crying. Well, I'm sweating, so I, I get it. Um, <laughs> so as you can see on my plate, <laughs> We have, this is like the Diablo medley, it's called on the package. That's I'm good. not sure what some of these chilies are, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Daniel's willing to try these. And I'm not putting it on him. I don't know if I'm willing to try these either. So I can't just say him. Uh, if we both agree, we could take a bite of uh, whichever one. We could pick one each and we could take a bite of it. Um, it's up to him. Ooh, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's do a blind, a blind grab. I'm sorry, you cut out real quick. What it, do you want to do? What? Oh shit! Oh, shit you cut lost out. Daniel. Do a, a blind, we'll do a blind grab. We'll only taste one of them. We'll, we'll but with eyes, eyes closed, and we just one with our eyes closed, and we take a bite out of that one. Okay. What do you think? Uh, I like it. Um, it just don't be grabbing that. Don't be grabbing that little red tomato-looking one, okay? <laughs> I don't know, dude. It might be hot. Okay, you know what? Take a bite. It doesn't have to be big, dude. It doesn't have to be big. Okay, but I just you gotta grab it with your eyes, and you have to show it to the camera or or look away. Okay, go for it. You're first. You gotta talk though. Get it back in your screen. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, man. This is going to be hot. I can feel it. It's going to be hot. Okay. I don't know what color that is, but I'll take your word for it. Pink. Oh, look at you. You're just like, you look so nervous right now. You're like, uh, <laughs> the way you're holding it, you're like, uh. <laughs> shaking, oh, shaking over here. Damn, you keep cutting out. This sucks, man. It looks like a little jalapeno. Okay. It might be a little jalapeno. Take a little bite. Hey, you pick one first, man. Oh, I got to pick one too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so here's mine. Are you ready? You better not get that tomato, dude. What'd you get? Uh, I don't know, dude. You got the same one. I don't know what this is. I don't even know what color this is. This oh, looks God. pretty rough, dude. This looks hot. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to go first? <laughs> sure. You're going to take a bite, right? You want to dip it in salsa? Dip I'm it in that bite. tomato salsa. Dip it in that tomato sauce. No, I'm going to bite. Let's just bite half of it. Half? No, you no, mean? don't do half. Bite, bite the tip off. <clears throat> just the tip? You know what, Daniel? Fuck it. Holy shit. Okay, you're just going to go for it. Okay. All right. Just so you know, I bit that much. Let me see how much you bit off. Check it out. 
Okay. And I bet some too, just so you know. Okay, so that wasn't hot. Yeah, mine's not hot at all. Mine had no heat on it. That's actually pretty good, though. That's actually tasty. I, I think that tasted pretty good. Um, this is like, this <laughs> does is that mean to, we have to try a different one? <laughs> this is turning into Russian roulette. Really? Um, you know which one's going to be hot. All right, then, I just picked, I picked this one up, uh, so I'm just going to eat it. The whole thing? No, a bite of it. I have one that looks like that. Cool. I think it look, I don't know if you guys can tell us, but does it look alike? So comment below. Let us know if it yeah, looks Yeah, we're, we're colorblind, so this does not help either. This is the worst kind of test to do. <laughs> <laughs> we're color disabled. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm just going to bite. Cheers. Mm, 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 holy shit, dude. <coughs> oh. Well, I think that... Uh, I think that's closer to a Serrano, if I'm not mistaken. A little spicier. I don't know if mine was as spicy as yours or if I just swallowed it fast. <laughs> I think mine was spicy at the beginning because all the juices kind of like... When I bit it, it's like sprayed through my mouth. But it, it went away right away. Okay, well, you know what? That's two down, buddy. Um, I still haven't felt the heat yet, which is great. I'm fine. I already felt the heat from the this salsa here, the El Parasol Red. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know the other colors of these. They all look alike to me. I think these are the really hot ones, dude. Just hold it up and let's see. And I'm kind of afraid to try these. I don't know what color this is. Yellow? Um, huh? Looks like this one. <laughs> We're both colorblind guys, so don't judge us. Um, this one's gonna be hot, Daniel. Look how the is it yours like wrinkled up, like like shriveled up, kind of. Yeah, it like is. it looks like a raisin almost, something like that. Yep. My last chili is is kicking in. Holy shit, my tongue is on fire, dude. <laughs> okay, so uh, um, you're gonna take a bite of this. You really are. Okay, fuck. You know, I'm starting to feel like heat somewhere, man. Like, not in my mouth, but I feel it in here. <laughs> Maybe because I swallowed it fast. Um, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> I can feel the heat coming on now. Can you? Is yours like delayed too? No, I think mine is from the last chili. Yeah, mine's like a little delayed uh, somewhat. Um, surprisingly, um, for this being the Diablo medley package, and you know what? As you get lower, as you get midway, you get more of the meat of the, like the seeds and the, the, the pepper, it gets hotter. So maybe these get hotter, but so far they're not up to, to par for what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be like pretty hot, you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, um, we have some other ones left over. What do you see? What do you have? Do you want to try that tomato one? <laughs> Don't know what? The one that looks like a tomato? It's going to be the hottest one. Watch. Holy shit, dude. I'm kind of dying right now. <sighs> I mean, look at the way this looks. It literally looks like a baby tomato. It could be hot. I don't know if I've tried these ones before. Um, I don't even know how to bite this one without eating the whole thing. <laughs> You're kind of like forced to like stick it all in your mouth, you know? Yeah. Because it looks pretty hard. I, and I don't know what these chilies are called. I need to figure out what they're called. I wish it said on the package. Maybe um, these are tomato. I bet you these are tomatillos. You're probably right. Go for it. Take your butt. <laughs> go, for, go for it. He's, let's, let's watch you first. Oh, Holy. you want me to go first? Yeah. All right. No. Uh, hey. Hey. Salud, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was a big bite. Oh, that was a big bite. Um, well, not bad. It's not bad. Are you doing okay? Did you take a bite? I haven't. No, I'm dying here, dude. You're going to be... You'll be happy with this one. 
<laughs> if it's the same chili, yeah, it will be. <laughs> All right, here we go. It is a tomato. It's like a tomato, right? It's like a... <clears throat> it's like a bell pepper. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I don't know oh, what yeah, you have left on your plate. What do you have? I'm sweating, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I'm crying. I, I, I... I think it was from the ghost pepper chip and the red... So damn, I am sweating still. These peppers weren't as hot as I thought, though. Actually, I have one, of one pepper, to me. I think one of the peppers. Pepper me, I think. What's that? Sure. I think one of the peppers that we're eating now did that heat for me for sure. Because yeah, I was so, coming down from the habanero and the ghost chili and the um, el parasol salsa, but then when we ate another. One of these chilies, it went back up and I'm like dying right now. So I have one that looks orange. We're colorblind. You can't say that looks orange. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. To, to me, it looks orange. Hey, so do I, dude. I have one that looks orange. <laughs> you know what? That one's <laughs> th some of those, Daniel. Uh, that might be a Fresno chili pepper. And it's sweet and hot. Some of them are hot, dude. Some of those. You know, I, don't, I didn't get one of those. Um, we can we can call it good. <laughs> I think I'm good. Um, I would be more willing to get another chip and El Parasol than try the rest of the peppers. Really? No, I'd rather try another pepper. Okay. I'm gonna try Did you get a one. habanero? Is this a habanero? No, no, no. I thought it was shorter, like squished, more compressed. No, I got this one. It might be a yellow pepper. Could be hot. Try this. I'm gonna try this one and that we're not gonna do the chip again. Holy shit, dude. I don't think I'm gonna last very long. That's what she said. I think that one is called El, Di El Diablo. Really? What I meant was I'm gonna try this one. That one's called The Diablo. Oh, this is, this is what I meant. <laughs> To take a okay. little bite, I guess. Okay, here we go. Be nice. Just be nice. It's gonna be okay. It's like a bell pepper. Really? Damn, dude. I'm still sweating, dude. Like, I even just like stare at this salsa. I can feel like my tongue tingle and my eyes start to like sweat, kind of. Like I can feel the heat in my eye. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I'm there too. <laughs> I'm crying know, I, still. I get it, man. I get it. I've been crying since minute five. <laughs> But yeah, see, now you know why I can't eat a lot of these uh, ghost pepper chips. Because they're just insane. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, do you want to try anything out. else? You're tapped out? Well, un unless we do another chip. But it's up to you. No, I'm good. <laughs> you're all, you're all, I'll get another chip. Hold on. Oh, you want to do another chip? Oh, mm, fantastic. Where's Castro's over here with those plain ass white chips? You know what? Oh. That, that is a good chip. Holy hell. I need to pull out some Maria's over here. That's not Maria's. <laughs> I think there's too much going on. This is Maria's. So, I'm gonna do one more of these. And you didn't see my dip last time. I got like a lot. Easy, dude. You can feel it. 
Oh, God. I don't know what the hell just happened, but some heat just hit my mouth. <laughs> you know, I feel like, excuse me, I feel like it wakes you up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> no more. I think these chips, good for the evening. So to recap this, if you like really, really, really hot, Okay, it's not real. It's pretty hot. Um, so, okay. From like 1 to 10, no, 1 through 5 hotness, what would you rate that pot of sol chili? 4. For sure. I would do. I would give it a 4 also. It's hot, dude. <laughs> so if you like hot, go for that red El pot of sol chili. Um, if you like more tomato-y, mild stuff, go for the... Uh, Cafe Castro's. Yeah, um, it was, Daniel, it was good. The Cafe other Castro's, I would say, was good. I'm not trying to put it down. As a salsa, I like heat, but it was it was very tasty. Oh god, I'm dying, dude. What about Tomasitas? Tomasitas. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Tomasitas is good. Uh, I think they're hit and miss. They're usually, in my experience, really hot today. But, but maybe it was because I tasted a really hot chili uh, salsa before. But today it was more about taste, and it tasted great. But um, yeah, I think they're still good. And Maria's, you, you said Maria's was just more mallow, right? Yeah, but um, again, we kind of like lead it. We we led with the. Uh, the hottest salsa, which was um, El Parasol, and tasted good, but it's kind of interesting, dude. You know, my, my nose is running like crazy. <laughs> Excuse me. So basically, I'm going to use a Maria's chip <clears throat> with the <laughs> Maria's salsa. <laughs> That's so original. <laughs> you know what? You know why I like the Maria's salsa? The cilantro. You could taste in it. And that's key for a good salsa, in my opinion. You want some of that, like, herb, you know? I think if... Um, it's pretty good if you try it right now. It's <laughs> if you try it now after all that heat... And you just, like, just <laughs> after your shit. tongue got sunburned, <laughs> got scorched by the sun. <laughs> <laughs> you can't taste shit. It's amazing. Uh, I think I think my preference is still, like, standing by what we... What we um, said before was Maria's chips with El Parasol salsa. I wish El Parasol salsa was a little bit chunkier. I don't like the puree stuff. I like I like the crunch of the onion and uh, other ingredients. And if the chunk, the chunkiness makes a huge difference for me and the wateriness. And this is like really a puree where it's like almost a, a sauce. So if we can have Maria's with parasol, but make it chunkier, you have a you have a win for me, man. I got that shit. I agree, cause usually when I make salsa, I'll do it chunky, like extra chunky, and it just it gives it like a different uh, like appeal, it gives it a different look, cause we taste with our eyes too, right? Yeah, we taste with smell in a way, um, like all this stuff. So I agree. If it, if I could see like some chunky ass onions and some. Some big ass tomatoes or something, and uh, maybe like for color, some cilantro, make get a little green in there also. Um, but it's really good, don't get me wrong. It's hot though. <laughs> and yeah. imagine pouring this on a taco, just drenching it, just being Dude. insane, right? Yeah, yeah. But I tried the Maria's chip with the uh, parasol green salsa, just to let you know. Pretty good. Taste wise, hell yeah. The green salsa is, is it, it's good for taste. Flavor, absolutely, it tastes great. But like we've said a thousand times in this episode is we love heat, but for sure, the green, I'm not saying anything bad about it. There's just no heat, it tastes amazing. And our heat scale might be different from other people's, obviously. Um, because, like, the green one doesn't taste hot to me at all. Like, at all. No. Um, so, 
Yeah, and the other ones either, so. But that's probably what we gravitate to, so. As uh, New Mexicans, yeah, absolutely. And also, I just wanted to mention, I am currently in Tomasitas, and I'm waiting for my swirl. Cannot wait for that thing any longer. So where is it? Is it blue or red? Oh, you can get red a swirl? regular. You can get a regular swirl, and you can get a blue swirl. You do know this, obviously. Can you get a mixed swirl? What's a, what's a mixed swirl? <laughs> I have no idea. Just trying to mix it up for you. But um, boom. There you go. You can actually um, get a blue swirl. You can get a blue swirl from Tomasitas. And I'm actually inside Cafe Castro's right now. <clears throat> and I'm actually waiting for my. Uh, uh, they're gonna bring me a fire extinguisher. <laughs> so I need to cool off. I need to cool off my my little quarantined area. I'm sitting at the bar. It's pretty nice. Quarantine. The quarantine. But yeah, so definitely try um, Cafe Castro's. Um, they have really good tacos there. Um, if you like a more mild salsa, check it out. Um, try uh, El Parasol. Fantastic salsa, hot as can be. Really good tacos also. <clears throat> Green salsa is good as well. And then Daniel could... <clears throat> Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Try a um, Tomasitas. They have the swirl, my favorite, and the frog. Try a blue, blue swirl. Only the locals know that. I just discovered I've been going there for years, and I just discovered it last year or discovered it. Somebody told me about it. It's a secret. And also Maria's. But, uh, yeah, amazing, amazing places. Maria's, my favorite food there is the... Uh, Tacos chiquitos, and there's six little tacos, and I, I like it smothered with red chili because their red chili is amazing. So uh, check that out. And but thank you guys. Chips. And the chips, yeah, the, their chips are fantastic. So number one on our list on our four four uh, four places that we picked today. Just trying to support uh, local businesses during this time, get the word out and everything, and. Yeah, hopefully we keep all this moving, keep things open, and hopefully we get to dine in at some point. Well, yeah, today as of today, we can do outdoor outdoor dining. So uh, I know Tomasitas has outdoor dining. I uh, don't think Maria's does, but what about your places? Uh, El Parasol, I asked them. They weren't sure about it yet. Um, they do have outdoor, a little bit of outdoor dining, I think. Um and Cafe Castro's, I don't think they are set up for anything like that, unfortunately. So, But curbside, takeout, whatever. I mean, do what you got to do. Um, yeah, it's nice to keep these places open for all of us, the community and stuff. So, But this was pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode, the spectrum of spice. Um, we both got a little flustered. Um but I think we were just embarrassed because this is our 13th episode. Actually, it was hot as fuck, so. <laughs> and Presk, yeah. you got anything else to add? No, um, just follow us, share us. If you made it this far through the episode, thank you so much. We love you. Um, and also, if you want to be on our show, let us know because I think we, we just did an episode with our cousins and it, it really, it's fun. Not only just because we're trying to promote our, our uh, podcast, but it's just fun getting more people on there because I'm sure EJ's tired of me and we get, we just got to get on here. Yeah, it was good getting those different perspectives also. It, that's always fantastic. Um, that's what I like. And it's like a different energy um, as well. Um, and it's fun. I think it's fun. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to join us, by all means, uh, you don't have to be famous. You don't have to be jessica alba or sandra bullock <laughs> or but, uh, or uh, scarlett johansson <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah thank you for joining us on episode 13 ej out fresk out